Rod is dead at your feet, Cassandra. Uh, quick check-in, how are you feeling about that whole situation? You know, it was one of those things, like I said, she dreaded it, she dreamt it, and it's just, now that it's done, it just feels like a whole lot of nothing. Like, she was carrying so much anger, hurt, fear, pain, all of that, and now it's just gone, and there's just the absence of feeling. <laughs> like, oh... Okay. And I think it is Fenris who's the first to notice. Damn, the Arakian's gone. Fuck. Of course. I definitely look for Tama. I'm like, Tama, are you okay? Uh, she comes out from behind where she had been. She'd been crouched behind a, uh, the, the pile of cargo boxes. She knows her strengths. She could do a blitz attack to, like, you know, get away. But she's not a fighter. She was never yeah. trained uh, in combat. Uh, nope. So she comes up comes out around the, the pile of cargo boxes and she says, That was, that was very impressive, Imikari. I have new training. So I see. Where did you learn to summon a sword made out of magic? From the Inquisitor. She does not know who that is. She's <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I mean, Who Lennon. the fuck is that? <laughs> like, they didn't hear a whole lot about the Inquisition in, uh, in Parvalon. Like, he's from and another elf. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Not the ones in the party, but another one. She uh, straightens out uh, her robe that she had been wearing, and she says, I think this demonstrates better than I ever could the necessity of replacing the Arakian. Indeed. Blood magic, summoning, what are they doing? Fenris, finally, he, like, he, ra- he turns to the rest of you and says, she didn't even flinch. That Arvarod ordered a Sarabas to use blood magic, and didn't even flinch. Uh, Fenris goes up to the Sarabas, who is still kneeling on the ground, gripping. Uh, <gasps> oh, I forgot about the uh, Sarabas. I was Aww. like, yeah. He's still gripping the wound on his stomach. Uh, and he says, Are you are you all right? Uh, oh, that looks like a bad wound. Uh, the Sarabas does not answer, of course. I'm like, Elian, do you have a non poison blade? Blade? Why would I need a blade? Um, I've just healed them. His lips are sealed. That's why. Oh, right. Okay. I forgot. That's why Kaz is like- Me, Val, <laughs> forgot. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I guess uh, Elian gives you the blade and says sure. I can heal him too. Cassandra just sort of waves like, it's fine. I have I have a spell. Yeah. So I have- What is it? Your touch? Okay. Creation, which of course is not my strong point, but whatever. That's still a plus three. A 12. What's the TN for heal? It is- is do, 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 10. Uh, so yes, that is enough. So go ahead and roll to heal. Five damage. That's uh, not a whole lot, but it certainly takes the edge off. You know, it stops the worst of the bleeding. Uh, the Cerebos looks up at you. He seems very confused. He's not sure why you're doing this. Like, I can't believe he made you cut yourself. Stupid. <laughs> she like kicks dead armor like stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and now she's going to, like, um, free his mouth. Uh, it's kind of a delicate procedure. It was definitely delicate for you. Uh, you know from experience there's no way to make this painless. It's razor wire. Mm. Uh, it it right. hurts to put in. It hurts to take out. Uh, and But, you know, the, the Sarabas are trained to keep, keep it all on the inside, to not flinch, to not cry uh, about pain. Uh, and when you finally do free his mouth, he keeps his eyes on the ground. He doesn't say anything. I'm sorry it hurt. It also hurt when I cut my own, but this is all I had available to me. He continues not to speak. You know you're free now. You don't have to submit to anybody. He says nothing. And Cass just sort of sighs, like, all right, if you wish... To, I will not force you to do anything that you don't want to do. And then she, like, starts getting up, like, all right, let's go, guys. So we're just gonna leave. Okay. Uh, Tama approaches the Sarabas slowly, and she says, you know what he's expecting you to do. You know what will happen to him if you leave him. And yeah, Kisanda, you do know. He's expecting, his Arvarad is dead, so he's expecting someone to kill him. Or at the very least, right. return him to the Ben Hasroth so he can be killed. If you leave him here, 
that's probably oh, no. where he's gonna that's he'll probably just either stay here until someone drags him back to the ben hasroth or until they kill him yep cast like looks at him oh, i guess she stood up so she looks down at him like we will not allow you to be killed or to have someone else claim mastery over you why don't you come with us to the air shock you'll be safe he dares half a look up at you but then quickly averts his gaze down to the ground again like he's obviously drank pretty deep from the cunari juice like uh right he's not going to speak unless you explicitly give him permission to speak and then you know it's been such a long time <laughs> that she's like ah of course you can speak for yourself now he very very slowly says through bleeding lips i want to serve the kun i see uh, Tama kneels down in front of him and he says, there are other ways that you can serve the Kyun Sarabas. Why don't you, why don't you come with me? I can heal the wounds on your mouth. I can close up the rest of this wound on your stomach. And perhaps we can come up with a different way for you to be of service. And Sarabas says, I, I should not, this is not the way of things. He says, if my Arvarad has fallen, I I have to report to the Ben Hasrath. Oh boy. Cass is like, he, at one point, he was my Arvarad, too. But you don't have to do anything now. You can choose for yourself what you want the Kune to mean to you. But Without an Arvarad, I, I am a danger. The demons will, will find me. And Thomas says, the demons were summoned by him. He made you summon that pride demon twice. She says, Sarabas, please, at least come with me. to this. There's a place for people like you, for Sarabas like you, who have wanted to find another way. Just come with me just for a little while and try to make yourself understand that there are other ways that you can be of service to the Kyun. And Sarabas is silent for a really long time. And then he slowly looks up at you, Kisanda. He says, You are Bosvarad. Bosvarad means a thing who is worthy of following. And Cass just looks very startled, like, oh, what? Uh, and Tama gently helps the Sarabas up to his feet and then turns uh, to you again, Cassandra. She says, for not the first time, we need to get rid of Arkyun as soon as possible. I agree. And she says, and if there is, she says, she looks. She's. She says. She looks like she's almost reluctant to say this. She says, "If there is a need to replace her, know that I will volunteer for the position." Cass like looks at her and like startled, like, "Oh, I hadn't even considered." Of course, she says, "I am not a priestess, and I have not studied the Kyun as she would have as." The Arakyun must, but I know right from wrong. And this, she says, gesturing to the Sarabas, is wrong. What happened to you is wrong. The Kyun needs to change. With your help, we might be able to change it. And she says, I need to get him to safety. Yes, I agree. And she's about to, like, like she can't linger here, right? Like, the streets of Parvala yeah. are really dangerous, tonight, especially for two Sarabas. She, right? She's about to like help him walk away, but then very briefly she races back over to you and pulls you into a tight hug and like kisses the side Aww. of your head a couple times and squeezes you tightly and she says, You'll always be Imikari to me, alright? No matter what happens from here on out. Okay. I thank you. She says, 
I'll make sure that the refugees find their way to you. Be careful. The Arishok said the same thing. I will do my best. Uh, she nods and hurries out, helping this limping wounded Cerebos uh, back into the darkness. Mm. Mm. So. Basra, that's a very interesting. <laughs> uh, it is thrown around once in uh, DA2. Um, I think depending on how you complete the quest, you may or may not hear it. Uh, it was, remember that Patrice quest, Sister Patrice, uh, who has oh, you escort- fuck her, yeah. Who has helped you escort the Sarabas, and if you play your cards right, the Sarabas calls Hawk uh, Bosvarad, worthy of following. Yes, I got, yes, I got that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and obviously, in in his mind, Sarabas was saying, like, you are- you are wise enough. You are like an Arvorod. Like, I feel safe following you. But of course, in the broader yeah. context of the story, being worthy yeah. of following, just saying, yeah. getting those gears turning. <laughs> right. Cass is like, authority? What? Like, she's never even considered, like, being called that. And she's just like, taking it back. Like, okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Tama hurries off helping this poor, limping, injured Sarabas. Uh, and you are all standing on the the dock, alone, together, in the darkness. <laughs> so about those missing guards. <laughs> Fenris says, I've seen no sign of them. I have a bad feeling that they may already have been killed. Well, then I suppose we should leave immediately and tell my father. Uh... Fenris nods and heads off. He's standing a little bit closer to Yixanda, you know. <laughs> uh, especially after all that just happened. Like, he's got, he's a little, uh, it's, it's, it's fucking dangerous out here for you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it sure is. Yep. Uh, so it sounds like everyone kind of closes ranks around you as they head back to the uh, the pyramid. Okay, I feel like Cass is just like, she still has like her sword out. She's just like, you know, looking at it and just kind of like, uh well if no one else is going to talk uh, Fenris, well he speaks Kunlot, so as you walk he says Bosphorod what does it mean? it's a title bestowed on people worthy of following it's not one I have ever expected to be used on me he says I remember you mentioned that you were considering taking over as Arakyun, although now it seems we have another contender. And he kind of looks at you like, thoughts? I hadn't even considered that Tama would, but now that I think about it, it is very like her to do something like that, but I don't know. It's been a long time. <laughs> Since I've been involved in the Kuhn, whereas she has lived it all these years, she may be a better choice. He says, she may. She certainly has a broader understanding of the Kuhn as a Temesrin. But then again, you have a better understanding of what it means to be in the very lowest rungs of the Kuhn. That is true. There's an empathy in that experience that a Tamasrin can't match. Cass sort of, like, considers that, like, hmm, that's a fair point. <laughs> and he says, and also, there's, um, you do have someone waiting for you back in Tevinter, don't you? Ah, uh, <laughs> she sort of blushes, like, yeah, I so do. <laughs> this is something else that I want you to consider. Yep. Like, like, really think, of, like, especially, especially because now that you are... Like, like pretty soon, you're going to have to start thinking about who you want to be the Black Divine, who you want to be the Archon. Right, exactly. If Cassandra becomes Arakyun and Maveris becomes Archon, they're never going to have time for each other. They're both going to be extremely busy. Val and I had this exact conversation. I was like, <laughs> shit, we're going to be too busy to like meet each other ever. <laughs> yeah, that is something. And yeah, and then she definitely... That is true. I went through so much for May and would go through so much more for her. It is something to think about. He says, well, 
the meeting is tomorrow. So, think quickly. Yay. <laughs> oh yeah, that meeting's gonna go great. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah, the worst that sure could is. possibly happen? Our meetings always go well. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> You make it back to the Arya Shox pyramid without issue. Um, Ren is back. He's like he's he's waiting for you when you get back. Does he have a camel? <laughs> he does not have a ca- <laughs> just it's a fine. camel in the room, just sitting. I uh, know he does not have a camel. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Great, camel smell bad. This is a good idea." <laughs> uh, but the minute you come inside, he sits up and he says, "Hey, how'd it go? Oh, you guys are injured." Y'all okay? They summoned two bride demons, so not great. Fenders did a really cool thing. Ripped its heart out. He did. It was really, really really cool. It was a bad night, though. (laughs) He says, yeah, you guys look fucking beat. Uh, Maybe you should just go to bed, huh? Yeah. I wouldn't say no. (laughs) Except you're on my bedroll. I was keeping it warm, and then he shifts over. (laughs) I know mine's most, the most comfortable. No, fuck off of it. <laughs> Kaz is like, yeah, before I go to bed, I should probably check in. Yeah. Do you want any of us to go with you? No, you guys should get your rest. It's fine. He says, okay, well, holler if you need us. Fenders collapses face down on the bed. He's extremely tired. <laughs> He's like, all right, good night. <laughs> Kaz is like, yeah, mood. <laughs> I'm looking at Ren. Like, eyebrow raised. Did you do it? Uh, he <laughs> raises an eyebrow back at you. You don't know what that means. You're both too stupid. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have secret brother talk? <laughs> oh, God. So you all stay behind, and Cassandra, you walk limp. You did take a pretty big, nasty hit from a pride demon not that long ago. Yeah, uh, you did. You head up uh, to the Airshock's quarters. Uh, the two Barisad flanking the front door let you in. No questions asked. Uh, and... Uh, you can see the Arishok standing nervously by the window with his hands behind his back, fidgeting nervously. He whirls when the doors open and he says, Cassandra, and he heads straight over to you. I'm back. <laughs> he says, you're injured. What, what happened? Uh, well, the Arakuen was there and so was Arvarad, who is dead now, and they summoned two bride demons. Who's, who is they? The Cerebas, using blood magic, by the way. Uh, he swears. Like, you know, you you told him about what you found in the Ben House Earth headquarters, and it was all bad. But, like, hearing you just confirm it again, like, ugh. Like, an Arvarod ordering their Cerebas to use blood magic? That goes against, like, everything. Like, everything that the Kuhn stands for. And he says, are you all right? Should I summon a healer? I'm fine. He says, sit, sit. And he, like, ushers you over to the table. Yeah, definitely sits down. She, like, sinks into the chair like, oh, God, finally sitting down. I killed him. Arvarad? Yes. He nods slowly. How do you feel? Not at all like I expected to. It has been... My whole life, fearing that he would find me and return me or re-educate me. And, but then seeing <laughs> how far he's fallen, what he's become, what he's done, I feel nothing now, only pity. And now he's gone. He says, I don't know if it offers you any comfort, but any mistakes that he has made, any mistakes that any of us have made, we have done with good intent. He says, it was always to serve the Kuhn. Of course. 
he said as much in his final words. I just, I don't see how he thought blood magic is serving the Kuhn. He says it was not his place to question. And that, I think, is proof positive that things need to change. They do. And that the Aragune just watched all of this, of course. She especially needs to change. Based on everything I've seen and discovered, I agree. I'm sure at tomorrow's meeting she will definitely accuse me of something. I have no doubt of it. He says, listen, Cassandra. I, uh, he reaches into his pocket and pulls out a dragon tooth on a long leather tassel. Oh, boy. He says, I swear that little elf must be Ashkari. How he's done this twice, I do not know, but he hands it to you. Cass, like, I definitely sits up straight and, like, takes it and then just stares at it like, no. Couldn't be. He says he dug through the uh, the lost items room for the better part of two hours looking for it, but this must be it. It's the same leather. I remember tying it myself, puncturing the hole in the tooth myself to tie it there. I, I thought it lost in the fire. I, this is unbelievable. Uh, he laughs and he says, you think... The tooth of a creature that breathes fire would be lost in a fire? That's true. He says, All my life I have been told that my reaction to you, that my insistence on finding you, that my drive to reconnect with you was incorrect. He says, I was told by the Aragena by your Tama, by everyone who got wind of my scheme, that it would be my undoing. A man who takes more than what is his has taken from another Asit Taleb. It was a flaw, but I look at you now, and I cannot imagine how this could be so. My love for you has become a great strength, and it is, I know, it is going to help me and help you change the Kyun for the better. He puts the tooth into your hand and he closes your hand around it. And he says, Whatever happens tomorrow, know that you have my full support. Oh boy. Yeah, Cass definitely feels lots and lots of emotions. She closes her hand around the uh, dragon tooth and says, After my collar came off, I swore nothing would ever be around my neck again. I... I'm going to break that because I'm going to put this on. (laughs) She pulls it over her head like, this is the only thing I will ever wear around my neck. Uh, He pulls you into another hug. Yep. And she returns it. (laughs) And yep, that's me too. And then we both cry for the rest of the night. (laughs) Right, exactly. (laughs) The father-daughter feels, ah, ah. So you all know, uh, you had been warned in advance, that the meeting of the Triumvirate was at high noon the next day. Uh, and you wake up um, right after dawn, just past dawn, so you've got several hours uh, to, you know, figure out what it is you're going to do. Mm. The servants come by and they uh, give you breakfast, and then there's a pre-meeting, um, in the same room where the triumvirate will be meeting. It is this big, it's right in the middle of the pyramid, this big um, square room um, with a with a, uh, a circular table right at the center. And then all around the outside are three rows of like uh, risers. You know what I mean? Like uh, three sets of they're almost like um like a jury stand almost except they 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 sweep the whole room and there are three rows of chairs uh and uh the tile on the floor is this 
probably it's actually quite lovely this beautiful mosaic uh that depict the uh three symbols of the kyun like the symbol that uh, denotes the outer kyun the symbol that denotes the outer gen and the symbol that denotes the outer shock uh all laid out in this really beautiful intricate tile pattern and the first thing that ren says is like i thought this was just like a like just the triumvirate why are there so many chairs here uh and Ara- the outer shock says because there will not just be the triumvirate here it will be the triumvirate and also a couple dozen of our closest friends. And Ren's like, Stan was, did he just make a, Stan, did you make a joke? Is that a joke that you made? <laughs> <laughs> and Stan says, I have been known to do it from time to time. Cass sort of like giggles a little in the back. He says, please, uh, have a seat. Uh, and he, you know, he pulls up a couple chairs for you so you can all sit down at the table he says, so, the meeting is in a few hours. So far as I can see, there are three ways this can go. I think we all agree, the Arakun needs to go away. There are a couple ways to achieve that. He says, we can, um, I suppose it's always possible that we could just assassinate her. Although it seems inadvisable, she runs the Ben Hosworth, it would be very difficult. We could, um, he taps, he is, has the scrolls that you brought him from the Ben Hosworth headquarters. We could blackmail her, I suppose that might work. Keep her under our thumb with all of this knowledge that we have, if people knew what she was doing. Not just to Sarabas, but to the Ben Hosroth. There would be a public outcry, unlike anything she would ever have the facility to deal with. And he says, or we could try a peaceful approach. He says, we could try to oust her with a two-thirds majority of the uh, of the triumvirate and see her face justice. Unfortunately, uh, as you know, Cassandra, it is within, uh, it is under the Arda Kyun's direction that the justice system of the Kyun operates. Hmm. He says, what do you think? And seriously, what do you guys think? Like, yeah, seriously, you can you can kill her. You can try to blackmail her into doing what you want and have operate like a shadow government through her. (laughs) Uh, Or you could try to um, replace her peacefully. What are the odds of that working? I know. (laughs) Cass is like, think about that, like, definitely no on the third one. Like, she controls that cat part of society absolutely not <laughs> as much as that's the road the road i would normally go it feels like nah peaceful is no longer her game uh Ar- the irish Lex says well i mean i agree that uh, it will be difficult but bear in mind that if word gets out that you assassinated the arakian it will cast a shadow over your entire administration indeed <laughs> Cass sort of like looks at Elian like, no offense, but we're not our leg. <laughs> Elian just kind of shrugs, like, yeah. I know how much you guys love doing that over there. We know when not to. He says, What are you even keeping that in mind? Are you sure you don't want to try a peaceful approach? I want to, but how difficult are we talking? He says, it's impossible to say at this juncture. It depends on what she has planned for this meeting. Uh, That's exactly what I'm worried about. If she can just pounce on the meeting with my Tama and summon demons without any remorse, I can't even imagine what her game would be here. Uh, So, again, like you're... the. You had three options. Thoughts. You can discuss it out of character, too. I mean, I think it just, like, what's the... We need to find out what it's gonna take to do this, like, diplomatically. Like, wh- who would we have to convince you? Like, we need, we need to know the details before we can make an assessment, I feel like. The big thing... Well, he's talked about this before, but, you know, we're all idiots here, so... Yeah. As a reminder, <laughs> the big one you need to convince is the Aragena. Like, she's right, the big course. one. Uh, if uh-huh. you can get her to realize how far the Articune has fallen with her and the Aeroshock, with a two-thirds majority of the Triumvirate, they can oust her. 
and allegedly that would be peaceful. She like she would face a jury. She would face like she would be sentenced and probably to re-education. Ironically, um, mm. <laughs> after being ousted from her position. Any? Do we have any clue what it would take to convince her? Like, well, we have the. That's what we that's got. What the, you, um, that's what you got. For. The scrolls yeah, that's for. our yeah, our evidence. That's the evidence that you have brought against her, and it's it's pretty fucking compelling. Um, there might be some in the Ben Hasrath who would be loyal to her, but then again, you don't really know. Like, right. allegedly, the Ben Hasrath is supposed to answer to the Arakun, whoever the Arakun is. So, like, in theory, if you replace her right away, there should be no problem. Because they answer to the Arakun and she is no longer Arakun. It's the in theory part of that that worries me. Right. I am very worried. Like, she's okay with blood magic and summoning demons. What? What else is she okay with? Exactly. Cass definitely wants to do the peaceful route. Like, she really. Arvarad is the one she wanted to kill. She's like, I don't want to kill anybody. However, I feel like this bitch is going to be like, oh, surprise. I don't know. Try to take control of shit. (laughs) I'm very worried about her reaction basically but really want to go that route that's why we got the evidence to convince the Aragena. yep yeah i mean elian's obviously fine with killing people but right <laughs> also i feel like blackmail wouldn't work she'd be like okay so i feel like if we're gonna try to put you in a position of power it is like i don't know i mean i don't know the cute but like if that's like, i guess i guess the air just said though that like that's not a good foot for you to start off on. <laughs> so, mm. yeah, mm-hmm. very true. Yeah, I feel like just yeah, number three is probably the best option. Like we did gather all that evidence. Presumably, if we give it a try and it goes really poorly, then we can assassinate her. <laughs> <laughs> Dad did say he'd support. So, the to be clear, like the the three choices, like if you choose assassinate, it's going to be like, yeah, terrible. Like no, it's no, no, it's going to be like. You're going to do it later. Like, you're going to do it under cover of darkness, and you're going to just quietly oust her from her position after the summit is over. Yeah, so that's always a third secret option if things go really, really, really badly. Right. I'm sure that will make everyone I mean, definitely I want to I always plan to be killing people in the back. <laughs> it's like, that's always, that's always Sabre's background like option. <laughs> like, What? And look how well it's worked out for him. So well. I'm still here. Right? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you didn't kill Meryl. <laughs> okay. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Just a real low blow there, might Cassandra. Be family. That doesn't mean I won't kill you either. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at the number of times he's starting to kill I've Ren. I've got a fun little dagger now, too. <laughs> So it sounds like we're leaning toward option three. Um, peacefully oust her or at least try. Yeah, at least try. Like, that's just cat. She's like, please. If it doesn't work, then fine. Fuck you, Kuhn. <laughs> the Arishok seems pleased with your decision. Uh, he says, good. I, I would like to resolve this diplomatically, peacefully, if at all possible. If only because I would not want to make it an unnecessary strain for the next Arakun. He says, and speaking of which, he says, are you really serious, Cassandra? You r- really would put yourself forward as the next starter Kuhn. And then another big decision. So I set it up yep. at kind of the last moment, but it's now a binary option. It's not just Cassandra. You can right. either put Cassandra forward or you can put her to Masterin forward. So discuss. Yeah. Cass is going to be like, well, Tama did also offer herself. He says, you're, you're Tama, you're Tamasrin. Yes. Uh, Sten, Sten, so, or Arishak suddenly looks a little flustered. He says, I don't, I'm not sure if that would be a, a good I- idea. Um, that she's, <clears throat> you know, she's got no training uh, as as a priestess. <laughs> and um, Cass just like <laughs> is very closely watching like, uh, she knows the Kuhn better. I have not. I've been away for a while. Uh, yes, there... it's just, it's, you know, she's just, it, you know, she is a Tamasrin, which does, she listens and she speaks, which is useful, but, you know, the outer kin is expected to have a formal background in the um, in you know, the full text of Kosloon. Isn't Kosloon. the point to be changing the Kuhn? Uh, uh Yes. I'm just, 
There are surely third can- third other candidates to be can- um <clears throat> I know Dren. I'm like, you know him. Is this- Cass is like Cass is grinning from ear to ear like, oh my god, do you do you? Red's like, oh my fucking god! Stay you dog! <laughs> and he like socks in the air shock like hard on the arm. He's like, you've got a your fucking sweet on her? Oh my god. He's like, I don't know what that means. Kadan, what? <laughs> sweet on what? How is she? she's not sweet? She is a Tamasrin. <laughs> it's a phrase. It means <laughs> that you have feelings for her. I, that's a, 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 a no. I I've only met her a few times over the years, and that <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Red's like, oh my god, 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 oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> interesting this is like delightful to sound like oh my god <laughs> my tama and my dad like what <laughs> imagine that your mom liking your dad <laughs> can you imagine a yeah. world <laughs> <laughs> it's more like your babysitter hooking up with your dad but okay. yeah, she's the closest thing you've had to a mom right that is true yeah but this is absolutely delightful Cass is just like oh well that would certainly be very new and different for the queue. <laughs> Red's like, oh my god, Sted, you fucking dog. I can't believe you. <laughs> He's like, I'm not a dog. <laughs> I'm, I'm the Aeroshock. Okay, buddy, all right. I am Kunari, I am not a dog. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so the little binary option, you still haven't made up your mind. Do you want to put Cassandra yep. forward as the next Arakian, or do you want to put her to Messer and forward as the next Arakian? Discuss. Yeah, because then we have I feel like this is, Black Divine and Archon. This is like a Cassandra choice, because like, it like deeply affects your personal. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, just my two cents. I really like the idea of a Tamasaran as the Arakian, because like, like you said, that they're knowledgeable about it, but you know, it's not what they're trained for. And I think that would also be just as shaking up as you would be. I mean, like, I love mm-hmm. you as- It's also, it's not, their knowledge of the Kyun is not theory. Like, right? They're not, they don't study the Tome of Kwasun. They live in the Kyun and they have to right. know all right. the people that come through the, literally every single person that mm-hmm. is birthed into the Kyun, they have to know. Right. So it is the living Kuhn. It is not what it was mm-hmm. meant, you know, what it was, the ideal of it. It is what it is. But on the other hand, like Fenris was, Fenris was right. Like you have experience as like the lowest position in, right. in the Kuhn. You could really shake up like the concept. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that she's still shocked about like the other Sarah Vaz calling her Vazrod like, oh my God, what? But at the same time, the, the idea of mom and dad running the government is very funny. Oh, they're oh they're gonna hook up no matter what happens. Trust me. <laughs> I know, but just the fact that like if they're both heads of state, that's hilarious. It is pretty funny. I will admit. <laughs> right. Like, uh, excuse me, um, Arishot, could you please not flirt with Arakune in the meeting? Thank you. <laughs> would Mayveris? Would Mayveris come or Mayveris come to like to see you? I, I guess that, like that's a yeah like. That's the thing, yeah, because if I'm Eric Hewn, I have to be, you like, have Cass to be has to be in Parvalon. In, in Parvalon, yeah, I can't leave. You can, but it would be it would be extremely difficult. Like, how it's working in my head, right. like, if you do take up, if you become Eric Hewn Cass, it'll be, like, for the first couple months, while well, the, during the transition period, you can still continue your work with the Lucerne, but you're going to be mm-hmm. saddled with a whole bunch of, like, long-distance responsibilities. Like, people are going to be writing to you a lot and asking you to make a lot of yep. decisions and shit like that. Um and I, it is possible, like, if your main interest, which I know it probably is, is having, like, a really nice, cozy, happily ever after for May and Cassandra. Yes. Technically, true. like, they're, with the secret third option, Mayveris could theoretically not be either Black Divine or... The Black Divine is only male. The Archon can be male or female, but the Black Divine is for men only. Yeah, yeah. That, so yeah. I guess this is a point where we ask uh, I mean, Amber if she's yeah. figured out Amber, who the third out, option have is. Have you figured out the secret third option yet, Amber? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're the, Feels... literally the only one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's well, fine. it's Leander. Leander is the secret third option. Oh. I really like that. Like, an elf? Like, it's a pretty big statement. Right. And I did set it up for him to make sense as either the Archon or the 
or the Black Divine, because he's very religious, but he's also a very talented mage. Um, so mm. he could theoretically fill either role, and that would leave Mayveris free, like to be just like the vision that you had in the the Fade. You know, Mayveris is neither the Archon nor the Black Divine. She just lives with you. She's just your sugar baby. <laughs> 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 there is a happy ending, no matter for for Cass and May, no matter who takes uh. what role. The only way it's really going to be a problem is if Mayveris is Archon and Cass is uh, is Archon. Right. Exactly. Yeah, because that will be hard. That'll be extremely hard. Right. I feel like this is the time that Cass would mention, like, it was very strange, but the Cerebus did say I was Basvarad. And I don't know, maybe other people might agree with that. Fenris says, if the letter is to be believed, there's a whole underground rebellion in the Kyun that's guided by you. That's something that you could build upon. That is true, and Tama did mention the organization. I really like Team Kaz RQ, and like that's, that's I like it too. That's rad. I like yeah. it too. When it was po- when it uh, when she saw it in the fade, I was like, oh, oh shit, oh man. She's like considering it, and like, well, if I've already inspired others to want to change the cune, then I can build that. Who's to say I can't inspire more? The air of shock is, he sits back and he says, I just, I worry for your safety. This would set an enormous precedent. You would be such a target for assassination for mutiny. I know, but think of it. A mage. As Arcune, that's never been done before. Who would have ever think who would ever think such a thing would happen? It's the change that we talked about that we need. He says I uh, All right, he says. Alright. If we're all agreed then when the others arrive, we will put you forward as a replacement. Hey friends, Tessa here. If you're desperate to hear the next episode, chances are good that you can by joining our Discord server. We post links to all episodes and pre-release, and you can even chat with us and listen live as we record. Join us by going to bit.ly slash cfc discord. For more information on the show, character biographies, and links to social media, head to our website, critfail.club or critfailclub.com. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Crit Fail Club does not advertise at all, so if you like what you hear, tell a friend who might also like it, make a post on social media about it, or leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Full episodes are available on our YouTube channel, bit.ly slash cfc channel, or wherever you get your podcasts. 